welcome back to my channel. This is Kristen with Monarch Plans and today I'm doing my first plan with me in my new 7x9 Erin Condren Focus Teacher Planner. And the planner itself doesn't start until July, but I am starting to plan in the June um, kind of section, which is the last month of the planner because I'm hoping and assuming that by next year I will have a planner that will also have a June so I can kind of like move things up a month. I'm hoping that but we'll see how that works out. So I wanted to jump in because I was just so excited for this new size. If you haven't seen, I've previously been planning in the Erin Condren teacher planner, the focus teacher planner that was eight and a half by 11 size. And that was great. That worked out really, really good for me. Um, I love the layout but the size was just a little bit big. I appreciated having a lot of space, but there is just some hassle that comes with trying to use sticker kits in the eight and a half by 11, because a lot of shops don't sell those kits for eight and a half by 11, um, including my own. My past kits didn't really fit in the eight and a half by 11 because there wasn't enough washi, but I did adjust that um, with my reformats that I just did. So if that's something you're thinking about, the eight and a half by 11 should, um, should be good with my new weekly sticker kit starting with the July stickers. So, um, I'm just overall really happy to be in a seven by nine again. And especially the other thing is that I have a ton of interchangeable covers that are seven by nine size. And so I was really sad that I couldn't use them on my eight and a half by 11, but now I can use them in this planner. So I'm going to get started. I am using a Father's Day kit, um, kit 325 from my shop because Father's Day is on Sunday. Um, the other thing I'll mention is if you haven't seen me plan before in this type of planner, I don't use it in the typical like horizontal format. That, I always change it so my days of the week go across the top and then these five boxes or these five rows are all just different categories of life essentially is what you can call it. So it looks a little bit confusing now and as I'm starting to put down washi it's a little bit strange but you'll see kind of what my um, thought process is when I um, finally kind of have everything laid out and have the washi down. So I am going to put some of this, um, washi up here and I'm trying to determine if I should do it here or if I should, yeah, I guess I'll do that. It's kind of tough to figure out how to do this the first couple times. So that is where the struggle is at this point. So I am going to cut this off. I could just leave that there, but I'm gonna cut this off just so things line up. I have been absent a little bit on here over the past um, few months because if you aren't familiar, and I discussed this in one of my m most recent videos pretty much, it's a plan with me. Um, that I did a couple months ago, I was transitioning my shop over to use a new software and a new cutting machine. And so there was a lot of stuff that came with that in terms of um, kind of shifting my designs over to a new software. And there was just so much going on. Every spare moment I had pretty much was dedicated to me coming home and um, just focusing on redesigning things and reformatting things and learning a new software because I hadn't used um, like Illustrator before. So I moved to Illustrator and had to kind of learn everything. So it has been a learning process, but everything is kind of ready to go and operating as it should now. So I am very, very excited about that. I'm just going to put my headers up here. And then I'll put the bottom washi on. I'm using all of the sheets. Well, I don't know if I'm going to use full boxes today. I don't think I am. And I didn't, I grabbed them, but I don't think I'm going to use them. But I think I'll use the sheet A, which is the main sampler here. And then sheet B, which is just some extra stickers for like the sidebar. Sheet C is these headers, which I'm putting down. And then I might use E, which is the washi. 
the full boxes, they take up a little bit of space and there are certain weeks where I'm just a little bit more busy than other weeks. So I feel like this is one of those weeks where I'm just trying to have as much space as possible in my spread. I might use like one or two full boxes to mark like Father's Day, that sort of thing, but I'm not gonna do full boxes on every single day. And so there we go. And then I will do the thin washi at the bottom. It just fits really well at the bottom without overlapping things or taking up too much space, so. This will go down here. And I guess I'll stop it there. I don't really have a preference. It can run like all, all the way to the end of the page if it needs to or if you want it to. But one thing I will mention is I did reformat my kits. So there's still pretty much all of the same stuff available in the kits. I just kind of changed the format of things, made the washi a little bit longer. So like I said, if you have an eight and a half by 11, that should fit um, now. And I will also do like a little test. I'll show you guys at some point what the new kits look like in an eight and a half by 11 because um, I don't want you guys having to, or needing to buy it, the kits not knowing exactly what they look like. So I'll do a test at some point on here to show you exactly, you know, kind of how those layouts look um, with the new format. Um, and I'm trying to see, I don't know if I will have anything else in here. Um, oh wait, I didn't even put the washi on this other side. Oh my goodness. You can tell that I haven't done or filmed a plan with me in a little while. And so when I'm doing my plan with me, I think I'll have a section for work stuff, like full-time job stuff. I'll have a section for um, things I need to do at home, things for Monarch, and things for um, maybe like health stuff. It's always a little bit different when you're kind of moving into a new planner is it's always fun kind of reevaluating what you need. And weirdly, and it it's just seems so weird that it's really been six months since the beginning of the year. I just have different things that I need to pay attention to and track now than I did earlier in the year, especially with the business being a little bit different and all of that. So, I'm going to go through and I'm going to white the days out. And I just use this Tombow um, correction tape and in general it matches pretty well and it stays pretty well so I have no complaints about that. So if that's something you're curious about and trying to find like a, a type or a brand that isn't too obvious but has good coverage, this is definitely a good brand. So. Okay, the other thing I'm going to do is I'll set up the sidebar. Um, I think I'll do like a top three things that I want to get done. Um, actually, I'm going to wait to do that one and I'm going to put the... This stuff down here first. There's that. Do and then finally, instead of doing the three things that I want to get done, I am going to use these check boxes. to lay out some of the main to-do items for this week. So that kind of helps me keep things on track. I think that we are good to um, move into like the actual planning. So let's get started with that. 
Okay, so I'm gonna write some things down on these labels. So the first thing is on Monday, I have an appointment. I have to go at 11 o'clock and I have to do like an ultrasound thing. I'm not pregnant, I just uh, have some things going on. So my doctor ordered me an ultrasound, so I have to do that. Andrew has his bowling until six o'clock on Tuesday or at six o'clock. It's like until nine or 10 at night. I have a couple different meetings and appointments for work. I'm going to try and make sure that I have all of these. There's a couple of them. Um, but recently my weeks have been pretty light, which is really nice. And then at 4.30, and then finally my last work call. Okay, so that is nice. There's nothing else in here in terms of, or nothing else this week in terms of appointments, so that's really good. Um, the other thing is there's just a couple reminders. Deadline for us deciding if we're going to go on a trip um, in August. And then other than that, I will put, I don't have my holiday stickers handy or else I would. I'm trying to get this plan with me done relatively quickly, so... Um, I don't have my holiday stickers here. So what I'm going to do is put Father's Day. Call Dad. Um, so that is a good reminder just so I don't forget. I'm not going to, but... I'm always so nervous that like one of these days I'm going to forget to call just because I get super caught up in just the things I have going on on the weekends. Um, and other than that, I don't have, a, like I said, anything really that requires these uh, labels. I have just things here and there that would require like a little to-do list. And I'm going to use still this little color dot marker that I've been using in the past just to make sure I'm like notating or not notating but putting down um, little to-do list check boxes. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just put down some thin washi to kind of denote like where these different sections go. And so what I think I'm going to try is this week I'm going to have kind of like general reminders up top and then I'm going to do work, personal, monarch, and then like health related. I'm going to see if that works. I, like I said, it's like a new kind of time period in terms of the second half of the year. And I know we're not in July yet, but we're heading that way. So I'm really reevaluating again, like what my planning process is and what my style is because seems like it's always changing. So I am working on that. So we'll see if this works. And if it doesn't, back to the drawing board next week. I will do another thing of washi over here. Ultimately, just trying to make this as functional as possible because I've explained this before. I love this layout because this is really how my brain works. I definitely categorize things in my brain. Ton of to-do lists, but they have to be categorized. So this layout lets me do that. Um, but it can get really overwhelming if you have just like tons of lists and everything in all of these different areas. So we'll do that. And let's see. I'm going to start putting down these um, different labels and everything. And this is kind of like the typical point in my plan with me is where I start putting down labels and writing down to-do list items. And then I'll come back and kind of do a quick little walkthrough of what I have so far. And then we should be all good to go. I will just put 
my little weekend sticker here. And then we should be ready to start putting things down. So I will be right back in a few minutes um, just with some like a little wrap up and overview of all the things that I've done written in and all the uh, labels and stuff that I've put down. Okay, so I have everything down in my planner. My sidebar is a little bit blank, but I have to kind of wait until I um, go through my weekly actions and reflections to fill out this box here and do some meal planning and everything. So it'll stay blank for the time being, but I was able to lay things out like I had said in terms of keeping some reminders up here. And then I have my work row for my actual kind of like work obligations. This is my home slash personal row. This is for Monarch Plans, and then this bottom row is focusing on kind of like health, so food stuff, any type of activity that I do. Um, I might keep track of like how many steps I get, all of that stuff. So that is what the general idea is of this layout, and I actually really like it. I'll see if it works out. Things look a little bit empty in some areas just because there are some things that I don't know what I need to really get done on those days. So for example, depending on what I'm able to get done on Sunday, um, I will then fill in Wednesday and Thursday for stuff I need to do around the house, or I guess Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday for stuff I need to do around the house. So um, it really just depends on kind of some of the prior days if I'm able to get more done. If not, then Tuesday will turn into like a laundry day. Wednesday I'll probably like clean the kitchen and do some stuff like that. So those are blank for the time being. Thursday is really open in terms of work, which is really nice, but I have these other to-do list items for the rest of the um, days of the week for work. And then I have a few little reminders um, for my appointment on Monday. Other than that, there's just a couple to-do list items um, for the shop in terms of going to the post office. Um, I will be filling in some of the to-do list items I need to do for my new releases. So new releases will be going up on Wednesday. I didn't put them in here because um, there's a chance that maybe they'll be done earlier. So keep an eye out for them to be put up maybe potentially on Tuesday, but Wednesday is kind of the idea of when I'm actually gonna have them up. I'm still getting used to the new like process for designing and releasing things because I have essentially a whole new process for doing listings. So that's why the, these first couple releases, I'm staying a little bit more quiet on when things will actually be released. But in the next couple months, I will definitely be a little bit more like out there there with announcing a date. Um, I'm just kind of being very cautious in case things don't go right. Um, so I mean, gotta love starting like a new process because it is definitely really tough, but I'm trying not to let people down and make this kind of like a crazy process for my customers. So that's kind of the reason why I'm like Tuesday or Wednesday. So that is pretty much it in terms of to-do list items. But other than that, kind of on Friday and the weekend, my big thing to do is um, get the groceries ordered and planned and everything like that. Um, I have a couple videos planned for this week. Like I said, um, I am hoping to be back in full force on YouTube and Instagram. So that should be the plan. Um, I'm getting ahead on videos and all that stuff. So super excited to be back. It just 
I had to take some time away. But anyways, I then have down here just some meals. Like I said, I will be um, planning out everything for the next week in the next couple days this weekend. So I don't have those yet, but then I have space down here to track steps or anything like that, any type of like wellness to-do list item. So um, I'm excited to kind of see how I fill out this bottom section. But other than that, I think that that is pretty much it. And then the other thing that I might do is, um, I just thought about this as I looked, is I might also fill in this area with another full box if things don't end up getting filled up anyways, because I don't want there to be just this giant hole in the middle of my spread. But that is it for this upcoming week. I hope you enjoyed this plan with me. I'm super excited to finally be in the seven by nine teacher planner. Um, I think it turned out really great and I, you can't even really tell that this was like a completely different layout. Um, so I am just super excited. It really, really combines like all of the best things from all of these different planners I tried into one planner. I think I've mentioned so many times that I love the layout and the original place I found it was at Plum Paper but there was just some issues in terms of like their columns were really thin um, or really like narrow. And there was just some other things that I just didn't really like about um, that planner specifically. The seven by nine was almost too small in plum paper in this type of layout. And then when I moved into the eight and a half by 11, like I mentioned, it was just a little bit too big. So the fact that we're able to find this layout that is the perfect column width, it has the four days on one side and three days on the other. I just, I think I'm going to be in love with this planner. So I can't wait to keep on planning in it, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions, um, please let me know either in the comments or you can find me on Instagram. Um, I would be happy to talk planners with you, talk stickers with you, whatever questions you have. So anyways, I will talk to you later. Bye.